it's a nuisance to this neighborhood, it's a nuisance to the community, and we want something done about it. And this nuisance is this four-story shell of Graham's textile history. City leaders know the old culp weaving facility is an eyesore and a safety hazard for people who live along Parker Street. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordeen. Neighbors want to see that change soon after witnessing two major fires on the property in a little more than a year. Fox 8's Madison Forsey shows us the challenge to keep this from happening again. Yeah, this is one of several areas of the fence that we've seen today around the last and final of the Culp Weaving Facilities buildings. And it's unfortunate when, when people buy property and then they become absentee landlords, this is what happens. Twisted metal, charred bricks, and total destruction habits, blanketing Parker Street in a smoky haze for days. How mm -hmm. did this happen? Right. Mm -hmm. Crystal Breeze lives right next door and has witnessed this scene twice. I was scared the last time when it happened last year because I was like, oh my gosh, they can't get it out. This was the view from her porch Sunday night. Our house could catch a fire, you know, with the stuff coming over. I mean, you know, it could have still kept burning. Crystal is tired of the eyesore. In most places like this, people have already making them into lofts or doing something with them, you know. I mean, you can do something with that. And worried about that third building. Update, get the code and fix it up, you know, put a store there maybe or a restaurant, something or do something for the homeless, you know, make it a spot for them. I mean, something, but if not, I think it all should go. It can't go until the city gets both of the property owners to the negotiating table. A lot of it has to do with, you know, what you're legally allowed to be able to do as a city mm -hmm. and as a county. So we have worked with the county attorney's office and we are moving forward, um, you know, with what legal process that we are afforded to be able to do. One property owner is in touch with the city, but they haven't been able to get in contact with the other. The city penalized the property owners for a number of compliance issues and forced them to repair fencing in different places. But for Crystal and her neighbors, it's not enough. You're making other people values of the property go down, so it's affecting us and themselves. This building is still burning tonight. Two days after the initial fire call, you could see some small embers and flames, little hot spots all around the building, not just the one here behind me. The mayor tells me that they are working with Grand Police Department to make sure that this area stays secured while fire investigators try to figure out what caused everything. In Grand Madison 4C, Fox 8 News.